Hey guys, so imagine we have just got back from Manchester. What actually happened is, this is Thursday, this is exactly what I did last week. But last week I did not remember my camera, or my camera ran out of battery, which is the uh, more accurate thing. I've now bought two batteries, but I wanted to show you guys what I did um, post getting back from Manchester. It's what I do every Thursday. Usually my wife comes and picks up the kids Thursday. I really look forward to because I get to come and pick them up. Um, it's a bit of a pain because as any of you parents know, getting cars and getting parking and picking up your kids is just one of life's uh, challenges. <laughs> I quite enjoy it, but luckily I got a spot today and I'm 3.12. Jackson comes out at 3.20. And then we've made a special arrangement with the school that we can pick up Kayla about 3.40 so that we can get to football at 4 o'clock. So I just wanted to talk to you briefly about why I believe everyone should have a coach. So for my kids, they have a tennis coach, they have um, a football coach, and they're obviously at school, so effectively they're getting coached all the time. I mean, at their school, they're lucky enough to go to the best private school, one of the best in the country, where they talk to them about, you know, academic achievement. They talk to them about how to excel in all the areas where they're traditionally going to get tested, but they also coach them on things like mindset and mindfulness and being happy and being a good person and, and all these other things. So I'm a massive believer in getting mentors or having a coach in all areas of your life. You know, I'm part of a mastermind. I have a coach in there to help me with scaling my business. I have a coach, many of you might know, uh, Callum Raystrick, to help me with everything I need to do in terms of what I eat, how I train, am I going in the right direction for my current goal, which is to compete next year in bodybuilding. After that, I think I'll be going back to more of a hybrid approach. However, for now, I'm all in on bodybuilding. I want to give it my best. I've said I'm going to do it, so I am going to do it. But yeah, I just believe, like I'm not one of those pushy parents. I don't take them to one-to-one -to -one football because I'm really pushing them because I want them to get into an academy or you know, do those kinds of things. I mean, Jackson especially, that's all he dreams about is is playing for a football academy. So I just want them to have what I maybe didn't have, like go to school and be really confident in themselves. And I believe that if you've got a sport that you play outside of your normal school circle, it's a team sport where you have challenges, you have other kids being you know, aggressive, trying to take the ball from you. You have to learn to deal with that. You have to work together as a team. You have to learn technical skills. You have to learn confidence. You know, like my son is the captain, older son, Caleb, and the penalty taker when he has to stand up in a game where we're 3-3 and there's two minutes to go and he's taking a penalty. That kind of pressure and that responsibility will translate to every area of his life. That confidence will pervade across all aspects of his life so I believe that if he has one-to-one -one coaching and he practices and does everything he can do to be the best footballer he can be whilst still having fun you know when he's playing with his friends at school when he goes to the park when he's playing with his team he's just going to be better at football and if you're better at things you will be more confident and this translates to your business if you want to be confident in business, if you want to come across as confident on social media, if you want to be confident with your clients, you can't coach that or teach that. Ultimately, that comes from having a high level of confidence through staying within your circle, circle of competence. Warren Buffett always talks about how it's so important to stay within your circle of competence. And if you've developed that over time, like I've been a chartered accountant for 15 years, all I do is think about how I can make my clients be more financially successful, pay less tax, and what strategies they should employ to have you know, the fastest growth rates in their business while still maintaining 
a level of control and not having to put in all the hours. So that's all I think about. So over 15 years of learning, getting mentored, coaching, doing courses, researching, having literally half a day every week in an hour a day, on top of that, just assigned to my own learning. I am so confident in my area. I don't think there's anyone else that can touch me in terms of the depth of my knowledge. And so if I have a call with a prospect, if I have a call with a client, if someone puts me on the spot, it nothing will faze me. And I want my kids to have something when they're young where they feel like that. They can get thrown into a tournament, they could go for Aston Villa trials, they could do anything when it comes to football. And then if they're called to stand up in front of the whole school and, and, and do a talk, do a speech, they can look back at that time when they got up and took that penalty and scored that goal and all of their teammates ran over and hugged them and they all celebrated together and look, if I can do that, then I can do anything. I think there's a massive thing in life about if I can do that, then I can do anything, right? And I just wanted to share that with you guys as a parent, you know, you want the best for your kids this week. Um, I've almost been in tears just thinking about, I put a story up today about Jackson. He doesn't even really want to play tennis because all he wants in life is to be a footballer. He trains once a week, uh, one-to-one coaching. He's invited, been invited to county trials and the coach keeps asking him to come in, you know, for more lessons because he has a natural talent, but he has a natural talent, but he's been getting coached one-to-one since he was two and a half. Since he used to be this chubby little kid who used to jump to attention in ready position and now he's going to county trials when you've got other kids who are training five, six times a week with tons of pressure from the parents that are going in the trials and are not getting through. So, so immensely proud of him. In the hour that he has, he applies himself each week, just puts full concentration and full effort into that session. So it's kind of like training. You can train in a high intensity way and get a 20 minute cardio session, which could equal some some other person's 90 minutes if they're half assing it. So it's not necessarily quantity, it's quality for him. And for him to be invited to county trials, which at the moment he doesn't really want to go to, but I'm gonna try and convince him. I'm just so proud of him. So for him, tennis and football, I'm gonna turn this off now and go and make sure I'm on time at the gate and not gonna get in trouble with them. I'm gonna show you guys what they do uh, in their session, hopefully Lee can work his magic into that and make some really cool theatrical uh, football edit. Um, and then I'll show you what else I do on a Thursday as a parent and also balancing my time looking after the kids and uh, making sure that you know the business is still operating to a high level. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Five, 
one thing we need to do. But then the other thing we need to do is plan ahead. So look, if I go through this gap here, would it be wise for me to go to that red one up there? Why? Because it's Brilliant. So if I can get five in in this little area, it's about manipulating the ball and staying, getting close to the gaps like here. I've got one here, I've got another close one here, I've got another close one here, another one here, and I've done four in what, how many seconds? Very close, yeah? So imagine I've done that circuit all around. So if I'm going to that red one, I don't want to really go to that one, do I? Because there's not many around it, is there? There's two, three. Around here, there's probably about seven or eight if you keep moving, yeah? Play to me better. Your ones are gonna get higher now. Let's go, bring it down. Don't worry, don't worry, keep working, play to me. Lovely. Let's go, yours is getting higher, bring it down. Lovely. Okay guys, remember when we control it, we don't want to kick it back up. What happens if we kick it back up? You have to control it. Goes, it's gonna have to control it again. So look, when we bring it down, we bring it down, pull it into ourselves. Yeah, so we take the power off the wall by softening it with that touch, yeah? Soften it, and then you'll be able to play. Lovely. Pull it into yourself. There you go. Soften it and play to me, please. Lovely. Let's go. Soften it. There, play to me. Let's go. Play to me. Move your feet. Lovely. Let's go. Soften it. Lovely. Play to me. Getting better. Let's go. Again. Soften it. Yes. Now play to me. Play to me. Lovely. If I roll the ball across my body, you cannot get it from that distance. If I roll it a little bit, what can you do? Really. One, there, turn. Oh, sorry. Turn. Three, two, one, shite. Lovely, let's go. Even when we're close, yeah? Put your foot through it, yeah? One here, good. Turn towards the ball. Now we strike it, target. Lovely, great finish there. Good, turn onto it. Three, two, one, strike through it. Lovely, let's go, next one. Here we go, better. Onto it, strike. Yeah, so lucky, let's go. Let's go, one here, there, turn on it. Lovely, let's go. There, turns his body, look, then he faces the ball. Yeah, and all. Alright, guys, you just wrapped up your training. Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. What do you think about how do you get good at something? Practice. Practice? Yeah. Do you think it helps to have a coach, like teaching you what to do? Yeah. Is Sean a good coach? Yeah. Do you know what his company's called? No. Have a look on your shirt. Wonder Strike. Would you recommend it for anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Is he the best? Yeah. Yeah, good. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Footballer. A footballer. Okay. Do you think you'd be as good as you are if you didn't practice and you didn't have a coach? No. No? How good do you reckon you are out of ten now? Eight. Ten. ten. Eight yeah. and ten? Yeah. What would you give yourself out of ten if you didn't have coaching and you didn't practice, do you reckon? Five. Seven and a five. Okay, perfect. That's good. All right. I'm going to say bye to everyone. Bye. Bye. Right, guys. We are back home. Uh, that's Jackson. Hi. What are we going to do now, Jax? Uh, homework? Yeah. Homework while Daddy cooks dinner. Mummy has gone to a wedding party, which we managed to get After out. After dinner, we're we having iPad We don't have to go. After dinner, we're going to watch a program together. No, I've had time. As I've a had family. Time. No. He's a silly man. <laughs> He's a silly man. I've but we didn't have to go to the pre wedding party, which is awesome, isn't it? Are you happy yeah. about that? I've had so, time. But normally, does mommy cook you nice dinner normally? Yeah. What do you think? They don't want to see your teeth, Kayla. <laughs> go and use the mirror. Go and use the mirror for that. And uh, so, what do, what do we? what's on the menu, do you think, tonight? Beans. Pasta. Beans on toast, pepper pig pasta, and scrambled eggs. Jackson loves eggs, don't you, Jackson? No, I don't. I hate eggs. <laughs> I hate eggs.
Go on. Change of plan, guys. Caleb, uh, who is a Muppet, and you're a Muppet too. Left, left his reading folder at school, which has his maths homework in it. So, um, good luck. I don't have to do any maths homework. <laughs> we don't have to do any maths homework. <laughs> so, we're just going to attempt to cook. Um, Pepper pig pasta, beans and toast now. You're and then, no, so normally, guys, go away. No, normally on a Thursday, I would get back from football training, Kieran would have cooked dinner, and we'll sit down usually from five to six and have a family dinner. So I'll always try and finish work at, um, at five. And Cal has programmed for me in the evening a, you wanna go outside? Yeah. You can, but there's, I need to pick up some chase poo. Um, it's a macro based evening meal, which means I can have whatever Kieran cooks and then she'll just sort of leave it in the pan for me and I can take it out and get usually guesstimate um, carbs, fat and protein and kind of approximate it. So I've been a bit slack on that lately. I think um, sometimes under, sometimes over. But at the end of the day, I'm just in the off season so I can moderate that with my, my weigh in. So I am gonna have eggs beans and toast for my dinner uh, and these guys are having pasta, beans and toast. Is that slime? Yeah. Oh, I don't want slime on my face. <laughs> so they can come out. Don't foul, he hasn't got any shin pads on. Chase, where's your ball? Jackson, I'm taking kick off. Chase. Red card. Ready? And go get it. Ah, you missed. Daddy, it's one now. Alex, one now. One now. Oh no. No, don't do, don't do this to me. Oh, don't you just hate that? Look at that. It's broken. Do we have a tin opener? This is why normally when I'm with the kids I get Nando's, but we had Nando's like two days ago. Uh, so I do feel a bit bad giving the kids Nando's again. Pop a big pasta. And that's that. While I am doing this, actually, what I was thinking, something someone said, sometimes we make a mistake as entrepreneurs, saving all our energy for our Zoom calls, for our day-to-day, -day, for our business, and we get back home with our families. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if you do this, but I've done it, and you don't have any energy left for all your kids, for your wife because you've used it all during the day. So now I'm really conscious about trying my best, although on a leg day like today, I am like done in. Or trying my best to maintain some energy for the evening so I'm not grumpy, grouchy, low energy dad, but I can actually, which, I mean, it is really difficult. Kids at this age are Super annoying. Um, yes, Kayla. Good. He's taking a free kick. Thanks. I think I don't like it covered with bread. What? I don't oh, like it covered with yeah. bread. Oh. I forgot. I don't like it covered. With you told me put the beans on the bread. I didn't. Just pick it up like Caleb has. Pick, pick it up before it soaks in and then turn it over. Turn it over. No, turn no, the bread no, over. No, no. I'll get you some yellow eggs. Caleb does not like the really high quality eggs with the nice orange yolks. You like the light yellow ones, don't you? Yeah. yeah. You're right-handed. You got your knife in the right hand, so it makes it easier to cut. 
Yeah, you don't need to cut, that's okay. Always with the smart answers, kids. Always with the smart answers. <laughs>